It hurts for just a second when I get an email from someone who says, my memory isn't improving. After all, memory improvement is the easiest thing on the planet, isn't it? Well, yes and no. And if you've ever felt like your memory wasn't getting better, no matter how much you put into training it, today I'm giving you three reasons why poor results happen. And the best part, you're also getting the best solutions I'm aware of as we approach my seven year anniversary of teaching these techniques full time. Let's dive in. Hi there, this is Anthony Metivier from MagneticMemoryMethod.com where I help mature learners of every age take mental adventures using memory techniques. Our community helps you make learning easy, effective, elegant, and fun, so hit that subscribe button now and enable notifications with the bell icon. That way you won't miss a thing, especially our live streams, when you can ask questions and get inspiration from the valuable members of the Magnetic Memory Method community. And while you're subscribing, and even if you're already subscribed, hit that thumbs up and let's go. Now, the first big thing I've noticed is probably the most important. People sometimes dive into the Magnetic Memory Method Masterclass and tell me they suddenly have realized they have no imagination. Often this feeling arises from the second problem I'll share with you, but let's deal with them separately and then review how they work together. First off, even if it were true that a person had no imagination, this shouldn't be a problem. In fact, it could be a benefit. Here's why. The number one problem I solved for myself was to stop trying to be creative and stop using my imagination when deploying memory techniques. So many memory courses, books, and articles instruct that you need to memorize a bunch of stuff before using the techniques. We recently held a live stream and walked through one such article. I memorized some of the recommendations live, and if you want to check out the replay, the link is in the description below. But except for brain exercise purposes and stretching, there's really no reason for most of us to memorize anything to create memory palaces. Likewise with the associations used to craft magnetic imagery. Now some memory experts teach that you should memorize all kinds of lists so you have associations on hand. For example, if you memorize a list of common names and images that remind you of those names, you'll have them on hand when you meet those people. Frankly, there's nothing wrong with doing that and power to anyone willing to execute the setup. For most of us, however, it makes far more sense to mine the existing mental content and oil the gears of our minds so we can find that content faster. That's why the Magnetic Memory Method Masterclass has a whole section devoted to exercises that help you plumb the depths of information already in your mind. Complete those exercises and memorize a little something every day and you'll be perfectly capable of drawing forth the best possible associations at the drop of a dime. Likewise, when you're combining things together, it's not about creating or imagining things. It's about combining them by following some simple principles. For example, take a name like Gangador Dianand. This is a real name of a real person I met once upon a time. Using the principle of word division, it's easy to split the name into Gang, Dor, Diana, and And. I then thought of a gang like the rappers in NWA bursting through a door. Princess Diana was on the other side of that door stealing an ampersand or the symbol for and. Take my word for it, there's nothing creative or imaginative about it. There simply isn't time for creativity or imagination when you only have seconds to make those associations before the onslaught of new information takes your attention away from the name. All that is going on in that brief flash is the training effect. I've practiced with the exercises I've created and practiced memorizing names themselves, first in private, using approaches I teach in the masterclass, and then in progressively more difficult situations. I realize that it might be hard to imagine yourself getting to that point. However, if you've ever learned to type, write the alphabet, or tie your own shoelaces, you can probably remember a time when you struggled with those activities but add a bit of consistent effort and practice over a relatively short period of time. And before you know it, you can do all kinds of elaborate things that you now take for granted. Memory training is entirely the same, and the magnetic solution that has helped so many people is to understand that true creativity is the mixing of pre-existing elements. When it comes to mnemonics, it's best when those elements are already in your head. So as Tony Buzan used to say, use it. It's normal to get rusty or be stiff because you've never operated in this way and the Magnetic Mary Method courses are there to help. Now, I said problem one relates to problem two, so let's get right into it. Problem two is skimming. Sometimes people tell me when they're having problems growing that they've skimmed the courses in the Magnetic Mary Method Masterclass. Worse, they've watched them at two times speed. Look, I won't pretend that I don't do that from time to time myself. However, when the rubber really has to meet the road, there are zero excuses for skimming and doubling the speed of consumption. They are both complete recipes for failure on their own, and the problem grows even bigger when you combine the two behaviors. Worse, 
By studying in this way, you miss the details, big details, small details, and above all, the bird's eye view. If you don't have all the elements in your grasp, how can you expect to smoothly execute the needed moves? Now, I know that memory techniques can sound like they involve a lot of moving parts, and that problem is exaggerated when you don't know them all and how they're supposed to fit into what amounts to a single fluid movement in your mind. Besides the big picture and the granular ideas, you've got to supply your own information you want to memorize and actually memorize it. I've got more testimonials than I have time to post on our testimonial page, linked in the description below, and that's because people do take action based on the instructions. But when I get those emails that mention skimming and doubling the video speed, I tell them about the courses I've taken 10 times or more just to make sure I've milked them of every last gem. And it's important to note that I'd rather know fewer courses really well than dozens of them poorly. Rest assured, I face all the same temptations to skim, and yet in my own current learning project with Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and Google Ads, it has paid in droves to simply sit with a notebook and go through everything with a fine tooth comb. If I hadn't, I could have done some serious damage, all of which leads to the third issue. Not taking action, not asking for help, and when help is given, not acting on the suggestions. Now, fortunately, these issues come up less often, but when it does, it's often astonishing. And again, I'm not above similar fatal issues in some areas of my life. Even when you know that following the directions is the best thing to do, it's not always easy or even possible. So the real problem is when you blame the teacher or otherwise shoot the messenger. And this sometimes happens either literally or symbolically, and it's sad in every single case and every single way it manifests itself. The tough love truth is that we're all on our own with memory techniques. It's a real Yoda situation where you really are practicing them or you aren't, and there is no try. And as in learning to use the force in Star Wars, there are some things you just have to feel your way into and then translate into your own words or feelings or experiences what's going on. That's the beauty, mystery, and majesty of memory techniques. What you learn is ultimately yours and yours alone. You can teach it to your heart's content knowing that the only people who will ever understand it are the ones who put the knowledge into action. And you'll have such wonderful insider discussions with those who share this secret world of wonder. Memory training is not a magic bullet, even if the memory techniques quickly become the closest thing to real magic that exists. Training your memory is also so much more than just committing information to memory, either like the names at meetings or for longer term projects like a university degree or learning a language. It's lots of things, and perhaps the most precious is becoming more familiar with you and what makes you that unique creature that only you get to be. I promise that if you stop skimming, follow the steps, complete the exercises, and oil those gears in your mind that may be stiff and rusty, you'll discover mental treasures far and above what you were expecting when you entered this world of memory improvement to just remember things better. You might even change your entire life, as I did by letting memory rescue me from the jaws of death and heal so much self-hatred I know so many people suffer under, many of whom don't realize just how easily memory training can be the cure. But more on that and other matters another day. Everything starts with the Memory Palace. And so, make sure you have my free memory improvement training course. Get it now at magneticmemorymethod.com forward slash YT. The link is in the description below and you'll be able to quickly complete four videos and go through three compact eBooks with examples, exercises, and a summary of the videos. The simple course will further help you make sure you're operating based on specificity and not leading yourself into a variety of other traps that hold so many people back until they have this information on their side. If you haven't done it yet, hit that thumbs up, get subscribed, leave me a comment below. Every short sentence and interaction helps me continue helping you because it lets the robots know that humans care about the great memory tradition we all need to defend. I hope to hear from you soon, and until we get to speak again, come visit me at magneticmerrymethod.com and keep yourself magnetic.